All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of F1 2007. This is the penultimate episode because pretty much it's Japan and then it's Brazil. Can't believe there's two episodes left. But anyways, uh, we had a dream race, a miracle in the last race, Monza, where we won. And we didn't really take the lead of the championship, but we definitely cut down that points lead to Felipe Massa. We were 25 points behind, but now we're 15 points behind. Oh, where is it? Yep, there you go. And now we head to Japan, where the weather is not great there. It is raining hard, so definitely going to be on the wet weather tires. But the good thing out of this is that we are on pole position, but another bad thing is that my starts suck, so... This might be a little hard for us, but you know what? We're going to give it our best shot, and hopefully we can try to keep this championship chase alive. But anyways, 13 laps of the Japanese Grand Prix. Here we go. All right, here we are, Suzuka. It's raining pretty hard. I don't know what was going on with the sky there. I don't know if any of you noticed that. But, yep, pretty much wet weather tires all the way through. No pit stops. So this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Anyways, Massa starting right behind us as in Italy. So go figure again. As the five lights go out, a slow getaway to this Japanese Grand Prix. Massa doesn't get away well. Raikkonen is catching up. And we get a dream start. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, into turn one we go. Raikkonen and Massa, they make contact. As we just sail off into the first turn. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That is exactly what we needed. I, to say the least, I suck massive ass in the rain. And to get a start like that, it's it just, you know, it's so relieving. <laughs> and with no pit stops, uh, I think, well, I think honestly, we might just have to sail away and get this win, hopefully. Massa, oh my god, so far back. If you flash back to the episode in Canada we had a few months ago, um, you would have known, basically we dominated in the rain. Like, this car performs very well in the rain, more than it does in the dry. So, gonna hope that we can just sail through and just hopefully get through without spinning or having any aqua planning. It's recording. Oh. When wide and spoon, it's not what we need. But even on the straights, yeah, we should be able to get away from Massa. Hopefully, oh, no, he's catching up to us. No. Oh my god, that was so close. That was so, so close. Not gonna be able to make that move, Massa. <laughs> oh, that was so good. There you go, fast lap. Never mind, this may be a little harder than we expected. We just gotta make sure we're. Just going smoothly, don't really touch the curbs, but just try to send the car in there and try to control it. And this is actually another track that suits our, our car, because it's a lot of turns with some straights here and there, but we're able to make up a lot of turn, uh, a lot of time in these turns, which is very good. I assume another fast lap is going to be happening here. Yep. <laughs> the good. The and I'm surprised none of those guys behind can get the fastest lap. Uh-oh, truly in the pits. I think, I assume he got wing damage for sure. Yeah, like I said at the start, I usually suck so much in the rain, but ooh, when it comes, <laughs> when it comes to, when it comes to this game in particular, especially this mod, I don't know. F1 2020 just has a really good handling system and the traction with these cars, even the classic ones are just so, so good. So much better than 21 and 22. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. I know this series will end on Friday the 16th, and I know people are already playing F123, but I don't have it. <laughs> I'm getting it on Saturday the 17th. But that's alright, honestly. It gives me time to at least, you know, send this series off in a good way. And that's alright, really. I mean, honestly, I wanted to finish the series earlier than expected. I could have finished it yesterday, the 14th of June. 
But I wanted to at least upload a little Siege video in between that and kind of give something to the Siege viewers whilst I'm trying to finish up this series. So yeah. Oh man. Again? Damn, what is <laughs> Truly is not having a good day at all. Oh my god, Truly. <laughs> god damn. Make up your mind already. He's in the it's like the third time he's in the pits. <laughs> Or no, the fourth time. Same, I think all of the three of those guys, Truly, Kovalainen, and Liuzzi, they're, they came into the pits for like the fourth time. Uh-oh, I think Massa might have a run on us now. Oh, there goes Massa. Oh, coming in to touch and go, but... Oh my god, that was so close. Oh man. I think we should come in for Inters. It seems like you know everybody's kind of speeding up now. So yeah, here comes Master again. I'm gonna block him. I'm gonna block him. <laughs> oh shoot, they're all over me. If I want to keep this chase alive, I'm gonna have to start defending more, a little more aggressively than I already do. Not Ocon style though. Okay, yeah, it seems like these tires are definitely, they're definitely going off now. I think it would be a good time for Inters. We could try to come into the pits for that, maybe. This is kind of a tough decision now. Because it originally was zero stops, but now I guess, you know, now it's it's a possibility to stop now. Oh my God, the fifth time, fifth time. I wonder, I wonder how much pit stops they're gonna make after this race. <laughs> Blue flags. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's a first. And of course, it couldn't, it didn't allow Massa to get past us, <laughs> so that worked definitely. Oh my God, he fell back. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Sixth time in the pits. I wonder if we can get a seventh one on the next lap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we lapped uh, Kovalainen, I think, and our teammate. So that's very, very bad for them. <laughs> Making, like, six stops. Here, let's... Actually, hold on. Oh, my goodness, man. Liuzzi got five stops and truly in Kovalainen. Six. W-I-W-I-W-I. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we will have to pit. I don't know. I feel like we could go to the end on these tires for sure. Oh, another fast! Oh, screw you, Mass. <laughs> screw you. Man, but he's not even gonna get past us, so... <laughs> it basically did nothing. So, four laps remaining. Yeah, I don't even think we'll need to... to pit anyways. Unless there's some sort of shake-up on this final lap. <laughs> But I don't, yeah, but I don't see us changing, or any of us in the top five changing tires. Is he gonna go for it? Nope. <laughs> Raikkonen just doing his thing, just staying behind us. <laughs> it's definitely getting a little drier, but for sure, the tires are definitely sliding, we're sliding all over the place. But our tires are really still good, almost halfway through the tire wear, but... I think we'll definitely make it to the end. Oh boy, tire wear. <laughs> i never seen that icon. I never have, but oh man, our left rear and our right rear. Yeah, because we're pretty much lighting those tires up. Even though I have no traction control on, I'm lighting them up. Alright, we're into the final turns now of this Japanese Grand Prix. We've succeeded in another rain race. And we dominated just like we did in Canada. And off the final turn, taking the checkered flag, we win the Japanese Grand Prix for Toyota at their home race. race win and your second race win in a row. Fantastic job. That's it then for another fantastic Grand Prix here in Japan. A brilliant victory that has thoroughly earned the applause from the sellout crowd here today. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? It's a heroic effort for any driver to race in conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and had the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. And it's time now for the podium celebrations, and how well-deserved is this one? 
This is a team all about giving talented young drivers an opportunity to race and to win. Alpha Tori are your winners here today. Oh man, Jensen Button, you ass. Took away the fastest lap for me. But regardless of that, second win in a row. Taking over Massa, yep. Uh, where did Truly fit? I'm actually curious to see where he finished. 18th with all those pit stops. And Leutzi got a penalty somehow. Actually, let's check that. <laughs> Unserved penalty, wow. But uh, overall, good race from us. It was dominating, but we had some moments in between there. So eight points separate Massa and I going into this final race oh boy I wonder how this is going to play out this is going to be very interesting this is something that you definitely want to tune into all right well second win in a row but it just wasn't enough to take away Massa's lead in the standings but we are eight points behind now so this will be an interesting season finale or really series finale for this case. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be another 2008. <laughs> Possibly. But uh, we shall see. Um, uh, My goal really is just to, you know, go for a third win. But whichever happens, if we win or lose this championship, I'm fine. But obviously, I am focused on winning this championship. So hopefully, we can do it. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little boring with how we were dominating, but there were some parts in between that were actually in, uh, that were actually entertaining. So I'm uh, I'm happy for that. But regardless, though, I hope you all enjoy. And if you did, please make sure to drop a like and a subscribe is always appreciated. And join me next time for the season finale in Brazil, Massa versus myself. Goodbye.